ओम शांति सेवनटींथ जानेवारी इंग्लिश मोली स्वी चिल्ड्रन द फादर फिड्स यू द नरिशमेंट ऑफ नॉलेज एंड योग एंड गिव्स यू ग्रेट हॉस्पिटैलिटी सो रिमेन कॉन्स्टेंटली हैप्पी एंड कंटेंट एंड कंटिन्यू टू ऑफर हॉस्पिटैलिटी टू अदर्स अकॉर्डिंग टू श्रीमत क्वेश्चन वट इज द मोस्ट इनवैल्यूएबल थिंग दैट यू हैव विथ यू एट दिस कॉन्फ्रेंस एज विच यू शुड लुक आफ्टर आंसर इन दिस मोस्ट एलिवेटेड ब्राह्मण क्लैन दैट लाइफ ऑफ योर्स इज मोस्ट इनवैल्यूएबल एंड यू देर फॉर हैव टू लुक आफ्टर योर बॉडी वेरी वेल डू नॉट थिंक दैट इट इज जस्ट अ पपेट ऑफ क्ले एंड दैट इट शुड फिनिश नो यू हैव टू कीप इट अ लाइव इफ समन इज इल डू नॉट बिकम फेड अप विद दैट वन जस्ट टेल दैट पर्सन टू कंटिन्यू टू रिमेम्बर शिव बाबा टू द एक्सटेंट दैट यू हैव रिमेम्बरेंस अकॉर्डिंगली योर सेंस विल कंटिन्यू टू बी कट अवे दैट पर्सन शुड कंटिन्यू टू सर्व ही शुड स्टे अ लाइव एंड कंटिन्यू टू रिमेम्बर शिव बाबा ओम शांति द स्पिरिचुअल फादर हु गिव्स यू द थर्ड आई ऑफ नॉलेज सिट्स हियर एंड एक्सप्लेन्स टू यू स्पिरिचुअल चिल्ड्रन नो वन एक्सेप्ट द फादर कैन गिव यू द थर्ड आई ऑफ नॉलेज यू चिल्ड्रन हैव नाउ रिसीव्ड द थर्ड आई ऑफ नॉलेज यू नाउ नो दैट दिस ओल्ड वर्ल्ड इज अबाउट टू चेंज द पोअर पीपल डोंट नो द वन who will change it or how he will change it because they don't have the third eye of knowledge you children have now received the third eye of knowledge through which you now know the beginning the middle and the end of the world this is the screen of knowledge even one drop of screen is so sweet there is just the one expression of knowledge manmana bhav This expression is very sweet. Consider yourself to be a soul and remember the father. The father is showing you the path to the land of peace and the land of happiness. The father has come to give you children your inheritance of heaven and so you children should have a great deal of happiness. It is said there is no nourishment like happiness. it is as though it is nourishment for those who remain constantly happy and in pleasure this is the powerful nourishment for staying in pleasure for 21 births continue to serve each other with this nourishment this is very powerful nourishment for one another no other human beings can offer this hospitality to other human beings you offer spiritual hospitality to everyone on the basis of shrimat to give someone the father's introduction is also the true state of well being you sweet children know that you are receiving the nourishment of liberation in life from the unlimited father in the golden age bharat was liberated in life it was pure The father gives very great and elevated nourishment. This is why there is the song if you want to know about super sensuous joy ask the gopis and gopis. This nourishment of knowledge and yoga is first class and wonderful and it is only the one spiritual surgeon who has this nourishment. No one else knows about this nourishment. The father says, "Sweet children, I have brought a gift on the palms of my hands for you. These gifts of liberation and liberation in life remain with me. It is I who come to give you these every cycle. Then Ravana snatches them away. Therefore, how high your mercury of happiness should rise in you, children." you know that it is only the one father teacher and the true sadguru 
who takes you back with him you receive the kingdom of the world from the most beloved father this is not a small thing you should always remain cheerful godly student life is the best this saying applies to this time then in the new world too you will continue to celebrate in happiness people of the world do not know when true happiness is celebrated human beings don't have any knowledge of the golden age so they continue to celebrate it here however where can happiness come from in this old tamupradan world people here continue to cry out in distress this is the world of such sorrow the father shows you children a very easy path stay at home with your family and remain as pure as a lotus remember me while at your business there is a lover and beloved they continue to remember one another that one is his beloved and he is her lover however here it is not like that here you are lovers of the beloved for birth after birth the father does not become your lover you remember that beloved in order to call him here you call out to him even more when there is a lot of sorrow this is why there is the remembrance everyone remembers god at the time of suffering and no one remembers him at the time of happiness at this time the father is the almighty authority day by day maya is also becoming a tamupradan almighty authority therefore the father says sweet children now become soul conscious consider yourselves to be souls and remember me your father and together with this imbibe divine virtues and you will become like lakshmi and narayan the main aspect in this study is remembrance you have to remember the highest on high father with a lot of love and affection that father is the one who establishes the new world the father says i have come to make you children into the masters of the world this is why you must remember me so that your sins of many births can be cut away the purifier father says you have become very impure therefore now remember me and you will become pure and become the masters of the pure world people call out to the father the purifier now that the father has come you definitely have to become pure the father is the remover of sorrow and the bestower of happiness the golden age was definitely a pure world and so all were happy there now once again the father says children continue to remember the land of peace and the land of happiness this is now the confluence age the boatman is taking you from this shore across to the other side there is not only one boat the whole world is like a big ship he takes that across you sweet children should have so much happiness for you there is nothing but happiness waha the unlimited father is teaching us you have not heard this before nor have you studied this god speaks i am teaching you spiritual children raj yoga and so you should study it fully you should study and also imbibe it fully everyone is always number wise in studying anyway you should look at yourself am i the highest average or the lowest the father says check yourself am i worthy of claiming a high status am i doing spiritual service the father says oh children become serviceable and follow the father i have come for the sake of service i do service every day this is why 
I have taken this one's chariot. When this one's chariot becomes ill, I sit in this one and write the moli. I cannot speak through the mouth and therefore I write it down instead so that you children don't miss a moli. Therefore, I am also on service. This is spiritual service. The father explains to you, sweetest children, children, you too should engage yourself in the father's service. On God fatherly service, those who make good effort are called Mahavirs. It is seen who the Mahavirs are who follow Baba's directions. The father's order is, consider yourself to be a soul and see others as brothers. Forget that body. Baba does not see bodies either. The father says, I only see souls. However, there is the knowledge that a soul cannot stick without a body. I have come into this body. I have taken it on loan. Only when a soul is in a body can he study. Baba sits here, middle of the forehead. This is the immortal throne. The soul is the immortal image. The soul does not become smaller or larger. The body becomes smaller or larger. The middle of the forehead is the throne of each soul. Everyone's body is different. The immortal throne of some is that of a man and the immortal throne of others is that of a woman. The immortal throne of some is of a child. The father sits here and teaches spiritual drill to your children. Whenever you talk to anyone, first of all, consider yourself to be a soul. I, the soul, am talking to this brother. Give the father's message to remember Shri Baba. It is through remembrance that the alloy will be removed. When alloy is mixed with gold, the value of the gold decreases. When alloy becomes mixed into you souls, you even become valueless. You have to become pure again. You souls have now received the third eye of knowledge. See your brothers through that eye. By having the vision of brotherhood, your sense organs will not become mischievous. If you want to claim your fortune of the kingdom and become the masters of the world, make effort. Consider everyone to be your brother and donate knowledge to them. Then this habit will become firm. All of you are true brothers. The father has come from up above and you too have come from up above. The father together with the children, is doing service. The father gives you courage to do service. You then have courage. Therefore, you should practice this. I, the soul, am teaching my brother. It is the soul that studies. This is called spiritual knowledge, which you receive from the spiritual father. The father comes and gives you this knowledge at the conference age. Consider yourself to be a soul. You came bodiless and adopted a body here and played a part of 84 births. You now have to go back again. Therefore, consider yourself to be a soul and have the vision of brotherhood. You have to make this effort. You have to make your own effort. What concern do we have with others? Charity begins at home. That is, first consider yourself to be a soul and explain to your brothers and the arrow will strike the target well. You have to fill yourself with this force. Only when you make effort will you claim a high status. You also have to tolerate a few things. Just remain silent when anyone says anything wrong. What can others do if you remain silent? Clapping takes place with two hands. If the first one claps with the mouth, 
but the other one remains silent then the first one will automatically become silent only when there is the clapping of two hands is there noise you children have to bring benefit to each other the father explains children if you want to remain constantly happy become manmana bhav consider yourself to be a soul and remember the father look at the soul the brother so you children have to instill the habit of staying on the spiritual pilgrimage this is for your benefit you have to give the father's teachings to your brothers the father says i am giving you souls this knowledge i only see the soul when a human being talks to another human being he sees the face you speak to souls and so you have to see the soul although you give knowledge through your bodies you have to break the consciousness of the body you souls understand that the supreme soul the father is giving you this knowledge the father also says i too look at souls souls also say we are looking at the supreme soul the father we are receiving knowledge from him this is called the give and take of spiritual knowledge of one soul with another knowledge is within the soul the knowledge has to be given to the soul this is like power when your knowledge is filled with power and you explain to others it will instantly strike the target the father says practice this and see if the arrow strikes the target instill this new habit and the consciousness of the body will be removed and fewer storms of maya will come you will not have any bad thoughts the criminal eye will not remain either we souls have been around the cycle of 84 births the play is now about to end you now have to stay in the remembrance of baba from tamo pradan become satu pradan by having remembrance and you will become the masters of the satu pradan world it is so easy the father knows that it is his part to give teachings to the children this is not a new thing i have to come every 5000 years i am bound by this bondage i sit here and explain to you children sweet children remain on the pilgrimage of remembrance and your last thought will lead you to your destination this is the final period remember me alone and you will receive salvation the pillars will become strong by having pilgrimage of remembrance you children receive these teachings for becoming soul conscious only once this is such wonderful knowledge baba is wonderful and baba's knowledge is also wonderful no one else can tell you this at any time it is now time to return home this is why the father says sweet children practice this consider yourself to be a soul and give knowledge to souls you have to use your third eye to see others as brothers this is the greatest effort this is the most elevated plan of your brahmins at this time your lives are invaluable and you therefore also have to look after those bodies because of being tamopradan the life span of those bodies have continued to decrease to the extent that you stay in yoga now your life span will increase in the golden age it will have increased your life span will be 150 years and you therefore have to look after your body do not think that it is a puppet of clay and so it should finish no you have to keep it alive this is an invaluable life if someone is ill do not become fed up with that person tell that person to remember shri baba to the extent that you have remembrance accordingly your sins 
will continue to be cut away. That person should continue to serve. He should stay alive and continue to remember Shibaba. There is the understanding that he is remembering Baba. It is the soul that is remembering in order to claim an inheritance from the father, Acha, to the sweetest, beloved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Bab Dada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children. The spiritual children says Namaste to the spiritual father. Essence for Dharna. First point, check yourself. In my effort, am I the highest, average or the lowest? Am I worthy of claiming a high status? Am I doing spiritual service? Second point, with your third eye, see souls as brothers. Consider everyone to be a brother and give them knowledge. Instill the habit of staying in the stage of soul consciousness and your physical organs will not cause mischief. Blessing, may you be a charitable soul and with your sanskar of godly royalty speak of everyone's specialities. Description, constantly consider yourself to be a special soul as you perform every action and continue to see and speak of the speciality of everyone. Having good wishes for making everyone special is godly royalty. Royal souls cannot take into themselves things that others have renounced. Therefore, always pay attention that your eyes are closed to seeing anyone's weaknesses or defects. Sing praise of one another and exchange flowers of love and cooperation with one another and you will become a charitable soul. Slogan The power of a blessing can change the fire of a situation into water. Special homework to experience the avyakt stage in this avyakt month. If any type of obstacle is disturbing your intellect, then with the experimentation of yoga, first of all, finish that obstacle. Let there not be the slightest disturbance in your mind or intellect. Let there be such a practice of remaining stable in the avyakt stage that the soul, the spirit is easily able to know what another soul, spirit is saying and know the feelings in anyone's mind. Om Shanti